This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Carol Lee Mason with me. You are with the Studio Theatre Perth. We've been doing this by Zoom for so long. It's so nice to finally meet you. It, meet it you. is lovely to be here in person. In Absolutely. person. That's right. Now we're going to talk about another play too. Yes, another play. It just seems that you guys roll out the plays so often. You're always busy. We do go play to play to play. Mm -hmm. It's unusual for one director to, to take on a play quite so soon after the last one, but this was one I just couldn't t turn down. Um, it's a, it's a, a great opportunity to have fun with some wonderful actors. Uh, and then the one we're talking about right now is The 39 Steps. Can you talk about it? Yes. The 39 Steps is um, based on the original spy thriller written by John Buchan, Canada's Governor General way back at the turn of the 20th century. and. Uh, Alfred Hitchcock's subsequent adaptation to a Hitchcock film, which was then taken up by a bunch of wacky English actors as a subject for parody. So it's a send-up of the spy thriller, and it is also a celebration of all things theatrical. Well, obviously a lot of people saw some potential when John wrote the book. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you know, who can turn down a spy thriller? I mean, I think they're a guilty pleasure for a lot of us. So the, there's the the thread running through of this spy thriller, uh, but essentially it's about a, a, a poor fellow who gets caught up uh, on an evening when he decides to go to the theater because he's got nothing else to do in um, a group of spies who chase him all over, all over Britain. And um, there are a lot of nods to Alfred Hitchcock. Notably, we um, recreate the plane chase scene from North by Northwest. Um, so there are lines and scene references from the Hitchcock oeuvre, not just from the 39 Steps. Okay, something like this, do, you, do people come to these, do you think, they've, they've read the book, they've seen the movie, or is this just brand new for them, what do you think? I think it's all of those. It's all of those? Because okay. I think some people will have read the book, because it used to be, I gather, on um, school curriculum, okay. years and years ago. So some people will have read the book. Some people are Hitchcock fans and they've heard about it that way. And other people will see the uh, promotional material we've got out, which always compares this play, whoever does it, to Monty Python. So we have a whole generation of Monty Python fans from the 80s. And um, I've, I've also suggested, you know, there's a lot of the carry-on films from the 50s and 60s uh, that, that have echoes here. If you like um, Alec Guinness and... Uh, uh, those fellows who, who've done some, some wacky films in the, in the 50s, it, it has echoes of that. Oh. So it's just something for everybody. And it's something so, for all ages. I was just going to say, it's family friendly. Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's, it's funny. It's a lot of physical comedy. That's one of the challenges in the rehearsal period is that we run around a lot. As my uh, Richard Hannay, the, the lead actor, says, you have to be very fit to be in this production because there's a lot of scurrying and slapstick and madcap costume changes and it goes a mile a minute. Okay, so that's a talent of, 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 beside everything else you've got to do. <laughs> yes, well it's quite a talented ensemble um, right. of nine actors. They all have some uh, degree of theatre experience. Several of them have done um, clown work already um, and, or, or done theatre training. And that's a huge asset because this is not a typical play. It draws on a lot of other acting skills that are beyond uh, character and learning lines. This is, this is um, challenging for the actors. Well, I, you know, I think of, uh, of this as, uh, you know, as an example. I mean, we've had people come in here before. They were in a play. Now they have to sing. They've never sang before. But now you're looking for that skill for somebody. But now you're looking for physical comedy. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and really, uh, for the, the generation of actors I'm working with, I'm using a lot of analogies when I'm working with them to cartoons they're familiar with. Okay. There's a lot about it that's cartoony. Um, the Rocky and Bullwinkle characters, Boris and Natasha, or Get Smart, or those TV shows that looked at, at, at spies uh, back in the 70s and 80s. Um, so they're familiar with those reruns too. So some of the humor that comes from that genre is, is, is um, accessible for, for the younger actors. All right, now your cast, are they some new ones? Some uh, it's have it's, there before? it's a, a, a range of, of um, actors, uh, some of whom I've worked with before. So I have three actors returning from Scrooge. 
including Scrooge himself, um, who is, is uh, working as one of what we call our clowns, Bob Del Grand, and um, some other local talents who uh, are known to uh, us from Perth Community Choir or uh, Barn Door Productions. They've all come together and they are a very solid ensemble of creative and collaborative people. It's, it's rehearsal is we throw things together and see what sticks to the wall. You know, what's, what's funny? What works? A lot of it's chemistry. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. It is, yes. Yeah. People yes. may, may not know known each other or they know each other in a different kind of sure. light, you know, as a you know, serious actor or, you know. And an ability to just let go yeah. and be, be gung-ho. And um, they were like that from day one. They, they're, they're, I, I, I come home from rehearsal and just say, that was just so much fun and such a great group of people. Um, so we'll be very, and they're very excited, I think, to see how audiences react because, of course, when you're doing comedy, you're, you're shaping it all, you're crafting it all without an audience. We think this is funny. Is it going to be funny? So until we have an audience in place, we really don't know. And the other thing with comedy is it changes from um, night to night. You just don't know who's in the house and what's going to strike an individual as, as funny. So we're, uh, we're very intrigued with how, how our particular choices will will strike people. I mean, laughter is just as important as applause. Absolutely. You know, when you're doing a comedy. And it does affect timing. That's the other mm -hmm. thing. Yes. Uh, we need to, uh, we're hoping to get some people in just as a, a kind of a, a focus group because we need to know what length of duration the, the laughter is sometimes before we, we charge ahead because you, you, know, you have to wait for those laughs before you, you uh, deliver the next line. So there's a lot. Uh, these actors have to keep a lot going on in their heads. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's like you say, the audience isn't there yet, so the no. night of can make a, a world of difference. Now, you've got uh, lots of dates, too. Lots of dates. We open on March the 23rd, mm -hmm. and that's a Thursday night. And so we have a special uh, deal on opening night, a uh, special ticket price, so it's $5 off. Um, our tickets are at Ticket Please, Tickets Please uh, website, but 23rd, 24th, 25th are our evening performances. And then on the 26th, which is a Sunday, we have a 2 o'clock matinee. Mm -hmm. Our evening performances are at 7.30. We repeat the whole thing the following week. And um, we close on the matinee performance of April 2nd. And first time ever for Perth Studio Theatre, we are um, offering uh, half-price tickets for um, audience members 17 and under, which is a great opportunity for families to come out and see the show and for teenagers to... Uh, uh, see, see what's happening at the theater, which is pretty exciting too because the theater is launching um, a youth program for uh, children and teens who are interested in learning more about theater. So there are theater classes that uh, students can register for over the next um, several weeks um, of this spring. Um, so we, we hope to have a lot of young folks in and out of the theater for, for uh, for the coming uh, coming months. So 17 and under, is that every performance as well? Every performance, every performance. 17 and under, half price. Excellent. And the other option for, for uh, students with a student card are rush seats at the door for $10, which is a great bargain, so long as there are seats available. Right. And that's usually the case. It's not usually uh, jam-packed. Um, although It's a risk you take. Well, it's a risk you take, and mm -hmm. we did find with Scrooge, we were jam-packed. We did sell out... Um, seven of our um, performances, seven of our, our uh, nine performances. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, I thank you very much for it. It's, it's so nice to finally meet you, too. Well, it is because, because we usually talk on, the, on Zoom. Uh, a bit of a crackly Zoom, Zoom link, so this is much better. That's right, so that's right. So thank you for your interest, Kathy, and um, I hope people will come out and laugh and laugh. That's, we look forward to it. So Carol Lee Mason, director of The 39 Steps at the Studio Theater Perth, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having Break me. Break a leg. We'll try. <laughs> oh, hopefully not. <laughs> do they still say that? They do. Okay. But in this case, it's particularly uh, oh, yes, uh, loaded yes. <laughs> because there's so much running around going on. All right. Well, be careful and have a good time. We will. We'll, we'll be careful and have a good time. <laughs>